how do you like our matching shirts? Natalie has one too, but she's napping right now. Today, I wanna do a short little video for you guys about people pleasing, because if you're anything like me, this is something you have or do struggle with. So one of you wrote in this question. I'm engaged and have been really struggling with well-meaning people in my life giving me unsolicited advice about wedding planning, marriage, sex, children, etc. Mm -hmm. I want to make decisions that are best for me and my fiance, good for you, but my people-pleasing tendencies have made it really difficult. Do you have any advice? <laughs> I so relate to this. It feels like in every season of life, there's unsolicited advice given and it's usually well-meaning and well-intentioned, but it's not always helpful. And so that's something I'm struggling with right now as a mom, like unsolicited advice from people who mean well. And I'm like, what do I do with this? And sometimes it just makes me feel like a really bad mom. And I have to realize like, that's not the takeaway I need to be taking from this unrequested advice. But um, I think there are a few things that have helped me in this area. And I wanna share them with you today. Not because I'm like totally freed from this, but because I have found, grown a lot and found a lot of freedom from all the pressure of feeling like I need to make everyone happy. So the first thing is find the people in your corner. So just a handful of people who you trust, who know you, who love you, and who they are in your life. Those are the only people whose opinions you need to care about. Everyone else, it just does not matter what they think. So who are your few people? And this isn't like a yes crowd. Everyone's just be like, yes, you're great girl. Keep doing whatever you wanna do. These are people who you know are thoughtful. And again, who love you, who want the best, who are wise. And it doesn't mean you're always gonna do what they think you should do. That's also very real. There are people in my corner who think I should parent a little differently than I do. That's okay. We can have conversations about it and I can really listen to what they're saying and talk to James and say, is this something we should use or are there other principles we can apply from this? You don't have to do everything those people are saying, but they're going to be okay with that too. It's not going to mean that you guys can't have a good relationship just because you differ on some things. That's just normal adult life. So find the people in your corner. The second thing is shut off the other corner. <laughs> people are going to keep giving advice whether or not you ask for it, but you can, you know, if something like really hits home for you or like strikes you hard, do two things with it. Number one, say, is there some piece of truth for me here? Is there something about this advice that I feel deep down, like maybe I need to learn something from this? And if so, take it with a grain of salt. Take it, talk to the people in your corner about it. Or number two, if it hits hard, it could also be that it's touching an insecurity of yours. For me, the big thing is like getting my babies to sleep through the night with their health issues. So anytime someone gives this unsolicited advice on how to get your baby to sleep, I it like it hits this insecurity of mine, this tender place that's not it's like hitting a wound, you know, like if you got cut and something whacked it, it would hurt. So that can be a, take a take a look at your heart and say, "Well, is this touching an insecurity of mine? My daughter is trying to grab a plug." So, one second. <laughs> and number 3 Consider therapy. If this is something that's a big struggle for you, which it was for me, consider therapy. One of the things my counselor did was help me kind of look into why, what is the wound that this is touching? When I am seen and people don't approve of something I'm doing or don't agree with me or don't understand where I'm coming from or give advice that is different than what I want, what is it inside me that hurts in that moment or that makes me want to just do whatever they're saying to make them happy? Where is that coming from? For me, that was really helpful to just say, okay, I so desperately want to be seen for who I am and I want people to approve of me. And I think that's a very human desire. And to realize I didn't always get that the way I needed it as a kid, I'm just kind of like grieving over some of the ways that I didn't get that, that I needed it. Cause every kid is going to grow up and there's going to be things that you needed that you didn't get. Of course, there are certain situations that are just abusive and horrible childhoods, but everyone, even, you know, normal kids in a great family, there are going to be needs that were not met. Like your parents are not God. They don't know everything. They were figuring it out as they went, you know? And so that's just normal, but it's also normal for us to be able to grieve that and say, okay, I see that this has created a void in me that I'm trying to fill with people pleasing or whatever. I need to grieve that and start to heal from that. And counseling can be super helpful for that. So if you're looking for a counselor, I actually have some sponsors called Faithful Counseling. They're linked down below, um, a code for 10% off your first month. They are 
awesome. They're a Christian counseling program. So all the counselors are licensed Christians, but you can choose how much you want your faith involved in your sessions. Like for someone like me, I didn't want someone praying with me or being like, this is what the Bible says. I wanted strictly clinical sessions, but with a counselor who understood my faith. And so that's what you can get. It's all online which is super cool, especially in the world we live in today. So check that out if you're looking for a counselor, link down below and comment below too. If you struggle with this, what is something that helps you break the hold of people pleasing? Good luck to you as you're planning your wedding and your future together. You know what? Not everyone's going to be happy all the time. That's okay. And it will lead you to discover parts of yourself that still needs to be healed. God will use it in amazing ways. My daughter is knocking over the camera. Bye guys. Love you. See you next week. <laughs>